welcome to this week's Transformers Toy News Recap. This week we've had lots of cool new images of Masterpiece figures. TF Yuki have posted images of MP Star Saber, showing him stood in front of Metroplex for a size comparison, and showing Saber stood alongside classic Transformers, as well as a close-up of his cockpit showing where the Headmaster will sit. Also, Hishashi Yuki has received the test shot of Masterpiece Star Saber and has shared a picture of it on his Twitter. The test shot is still being evaluated by Mr. Yuki, so this is still subject to change. It's also been announced that MP05G Megatron, the C3PO version, will come with a bonus non-transformable die-cast reflector. And although it's not on sale in Asia until the end of the year, Lena81822 has posted an eBay auction for the MP Gold Megatron, which has images showing the figure in hand but only in robot mode. And images have been posted on Weibo comparing MP21 Bumblebee to other Masterpiece scale figures, including Wheeljack and Bad Cube's Engineer Huff and Brawny. And Uranus Secret Toy Garden have also shared images comparing MPB to Toy World's JP TW03B. Let us know which of these you prefer. Generations Voyager Brainstorm has started appearing in hand. Via his Twitter, Pjorg has posted lots of in hand images of his brainstorm and has showed the figure alongside Toy World JP's Brainwave and fans project Smart Robin. Pjorg and Bolt Matrix Reviews have also posted video reviews of the figure on their YouTube channels. Links are below. Official images have been posted of the Creon Warrior series. These were posted on the official Transformers Facebook page and show the upcoming series of blind bag figures. This will include Cowboy Optimus, Gladiator Bumblebee, Pirate Starscream and much more. These will be available from January and let us know what you think of this new direction that the Creon minifigures are taking. And we've got new images of Mastermind Creation Zinnia. Images of the R08Z were posted on TFW 2005 by RoyRoy23 and fans have commented that it appears that the figure will not include sword accessories or the wings. And Kuma Styles posted both pictorial and video reviews for the TFCon exclusive R08 Azalea Asterix mod. Vangelis has also done a video review and as usual links can be found below. And thanks to MMC Hub we have comparison shots of Mastermind Creation's upcoming Seraph Prominion together with Masterpiece Prowl. New official images of KFC's Transistor have been posted on the KFC fan page on Facebook. These images show the complete figure including accessories, the figure's packaging in detail, alternate heads and with Metroplex as he attempts to make boomboxes cool again. Now I'm only messing, boomboxes have always been cool. They've also posted new test shot images of their KP07 hands intended for MP13B Sound Blaster. And KFC have also announced new cassettes, CST08 and 09, Fader and Hi-Fi. These are their Rewind and Eject homages which will ship separately and Fader has been confirmed to ship with Rover and Auto Scout homage. And sticking with cassettes, Dead Guy of TFW 2005 has also posted images of KFC's TFCon exclusive Pestilence. New images of TFC Toys Vertiade and Red Cross have been posted. Courtesy of Lunar Toy Store, these images show the prototypes for the figures in both robot and alt modes which are from the TFC Prometheus Combiner. Images were also posted of Prometheus itself thanks to Team Doppelganger and it looks a lot better than the version shown at TFCon. They also revealed test shot images of their hydrant, these are courtesy of Pape for Life and Toy Dojo. And this figure was also shown in alt mode at TFCon, these images courtesy of Hotspot 15 of TFW 2005. There are new images of Toy World Japan's Dino Combiner. Thanks to Toyzone on Weibo, these show the TWD alongside Masterpiece Grimlock for size comparison and he does look huge. They've also shown close-ups of the head, both the masked and toothed version. There have been in-hand images of Toy World's Grant posted by Vangelis on Twitter and the TWH04G Grant was also reviewed by T2RX6 on YouTube. And Kuma Styles also reviewed Toy World's TWD01 Raw, both a pictorial review on his website, kumastyledesigns.com, and a video review on his YouTube channel. And Pape for Life has also reviewed the test shot for Planet X's PX03 Neptune, their sludge homage. And thanks to Dame Chalk, we have new images of G Creation Shura King. These are from Weibo and show detailed 3D renders of the SKR02, their Snarl homage, and the SKR03, their Grimlock homage. They also posted a prototype image of the SKR02 showing him alongside his weapons and footpiece for the combiner. And it's been quite a busy week in terms of DX9 toy news. TF Prototype shared images courtesy of Facebook user JimmyU showing DX9's legend class Iron Eyed and Blur in hand which looked great and he even posted a size comparison shot. 
Alucard Lee posted images of their D04 armor upgrade set on Weibo, and Pjorg reviewed this on his YouTube channel. And a line art for their freshly announced D05 Shigur has been posted on Weibo, as well as an official image showing off his hips. They've also posted an image on their Weibo of their upcoming War in Pocket series showing the X04, X06 and X07, their Cyclonus, Scourge and Galvatron homages. Spycart have posted more images of Vector Sigma's upcoming Cybertronian line. Posted on AC Toys, the new images show non-transformable Cybertronian versions of Bumblebee, Jazz, Wheeljack, The Seekers and Soundwave. Still no release date or prices available for these just yet. And we got quite a few new images of X Transbots Apollyon this week. An official image of the MX1 was posted on Facebook showing the all black prototype, and it was also announced that the figure will ship with orange plugs in gun mode in order to comply with US laws and show that it is indeed only a toy. And courtesy of Toy Dojo and Pake for Life, who also posted in hand images of the figure, and Pake for Life uploaded a first look preview video on his YouTube channel. And we also got a new image of X Transbots MX2 Andras and the Swarm. Dr. Wu have released new images of upcoming projects. They've shown their Wheeljack Cannon, DWP-22 Engineer Shock Blast Cannon, and their Asia Extinction Optimus Blaster, the DWM-04 Breakout Prototype. Also, their DWM-02 Mercenary Upgrade Kit for Age of Extinction Hound has been reviewed on Yuku. The link to the video is below. And new images of SXS's R02 have been posted on Weibo. Now officially named Overclocking, this is their long anticipated blur homage and was shown in hand in robot and alt modes and also wielding their A07 weapon. There are also images posted of the test shot for SXS's Toys A08, their Age of Extinction upgrade kit for Hound, showing the kit applied in both robot and alt modes. Which do you prefer, this or the kit by Dr. Wu? And Dimechok has posted in-hand images of SXS Toys A06 and A07 for Prime, Dreadwing and Skyquake. He also shared a video review from Yuku of the A06 link below. Unique Toys have released the first official images of their Alberic figure. The 002 is their Ripper Snapper homage and is the second from their Ordin aka Abominus combiner series. The figure is shown in robot and beast modes as well as in arm mode for Ordin. This is available for pre-order now for around $95. Shapeshift Inc have posted more awesome artwork for their upcoming combiner team to get collectors excited and this is definitely going to be something to look forward to. Bold Forms have posted images of their Lone Wolf test shot on their Facebook. They also posted the prototype for this figure in alt mode, complete with his trailer. And finally, Pjorg, despite a very busy week, has found the time to review Arc Studios VIP series. Check out the link below. So that's all for this week. All the links mentioned will be in the description below. Please like and subscribe and share these videos, and we shall see you in a week's time.